Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for triangulation is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Triangulation, episode 169, recorded August 31st for air September 29th, 2014. Robert Scoble's Facebook lesson. Triangulation is brought to you by Personal Capital. With Personal Capital, you'll finally have all your financial life in one place and get a clear view of everything you own. Best of all, it's free. To sign up, go to personalcapital.com slash triangulation. And by Braintree. If you're a developer or manager of a mobile app and searching for the right payments API, check out the new OneTouch product by Braintree, the fastest, easiest, most secure way to pay in-app. To learn more and for your first $50,000 in transactions fee-free, go to braintreepayments.com slash twit. And buy BarkBox, a monthly box of high-quality, fun, and healthy goodies for your dog, delivered right to your door. Save 20% when you sign up for a new subscription. Visit BarkBox.com slash T-R-I. That's BarkBox.com slash T-R-I. It's time for Triangulation, the show where we get together with some of the smartest, most interesting people on technology and talk about stuff. In this case, we're bringing back an old friend of mine uh, for many years, almost two decades, uh, Robert Scoble. He's been a guest on Triangulation before, so we know your life story. But we thought we'd use this special edition of Triangulation uh, to for you to help me. How about that? Yeah. Welcome, Robert. Robert has uh, been known for years. You've worked... Uh, for uh, Microsoft as an evangelist, you've uh, worked uh, on your own. You're currently at Rackspace, yeah. where you do videos interviewing startups. Yeah. Uh, but one of the things you said last week on Twitter really uh, intrigued me, and I wanted to get you back. You said, uh, Facebook is killing it. That within a yeah. year, I would be saying to you, you are so right, Robert. Facebook, what, what, did you, what do you think? In a year, Facebook will be it? Yeah, because I've now given it enough signal and what you were trying to do while no no was, i understand that but but, but yeah. for everybody was facebook the next big thing what yeah it, facebook is running away with the game it's running away with a the better game. service than any than twitter better or than Google twitter Plus or yeah. linkedin okay. because of its filtering and <clears throat> once you uh buy into the filtering and just give into it it actually starts serving <laughs> you and you so, were trying to figure out why it's not yet serving you yeah. because it was bringing crap to your feed so you said yeah. let me teach you and so what we're going to do is spend the next half hour or so yeah. you're going to show me how to use facebook better yeah now first of all to answer some questions from the chat room you're not paid or a consultant for uh, facebook no. in any way <laughs> i wish mark zuckerberg yeah. would give me some money you've interviewed mark many times you yeah. like mark yeah i do yeah. and you think he's smart he's very smart so yeah. facebook reflects that intelligence he's designed something that has huge power yeah and i have to admit when facebook went public i was a little skeptical as was as were many people. In fact, the stock price didn't soar because the question was, can Facebook monetize mobile? Most yeah. people are using Facebook on their phones now, and, and they didn't have a plan for that. It turns out they could. We now know, and the stock price has gone up as commensurately. By the way, the feeds you're going to get on mobile are different than the feeds you're going to get on the desktop because it's turning contextual. It's starting to study your... So it knows where you are and what you're doing. Not just where you are and who, you, who you're with. All right. All sorts of fun stuff. Well, and that's one of the problems I have with Facebook is it's unpredictable. I don't, yeah. I, for instance, we just, before the show, and people who are watching live will know this, went through my feed. If I open Facebook now, it'll be an entirely different feed, won't it? Yeah, the guy who gave me my drone is at the top of my feed. Okay. <laughs> so, so you're going to, before you actually tell me what to do, what are the principles here? The principles are it's a machine learning system that gives you, uh, is trying to addict you. It really is trying to addict you. It's trying to, if you only have five minutes to open Facebook up and look at it, it's trying to, it's going to go through the 100,000 posts that it could show you, and it's going to try to pick 30 for you to see. And Hoping time, that you will say, gosh, those are 30 th things I want to see again, right? and I'll come back next time. Right. And most people have, uh, uh, most people's belief of Facebook is that it's for family pictures and, and friends, people right. you've actually met. Me, I, I don't use it that way. Well, and I'll point out that when I click the family uh, link, which is pre-populated on Facebook, 
there's no one there because none of for, my kids won't let me follow them. This is pretty common. Yeah, and uh, nobody else I uh, I'm related to actually <laughs> uses Facebook. So, so not so good for me for that. But I do follow here a I lot have of a friends. Bunch of stuff on my. So this what, is your family. Food. What I've done is put everybody but into before lists. you go on. Yeah. You, you, they're gonna make sure that they can see your screen. Oh. So he's pushing some buttons now. Should have probably warned them. There you go. This is Robert's feed now. This is my family feed. So uh, one thing I do is I put everybody into a feed. You either are on my close friends list like mm. you are, Leo. And when I say close friend, it doesn't mean that I drink beer with you a lot like I do with Andy Grignon, for instance. But it means that I want to see more of your stuff. So where do I do that? So if you, well, let's say, uh, first let's say, uh, yeah, if you click on Leo. Is this okay. one of the first things I should do is... Is well, create these lists. Yeah. So go to friends. Okay. Click on friends. So I have 482 friends. Yeah, and I have 5,000 friends. You, that's the maximum, <clears throat> right? Almost, yeah. And, and you, for a long time, followed anybody who followed you, as did I. I, at some point, and this was a few years ago, realized that that probably wasn't the right thing to do. And I actually now have a policy that if I don't know you in the real world, if I haven't met you face-to-face, -face, you will not be on this friends list. Yeah. And in most cases, these are people that I feel fairly close to. Yep, and that's why Facebook asks you emotional words like friend. My my wife will not add somebody she hasn't met right. because she assumes it means <laughs> friend. Is that like, the right way to do this though? No, Should... yes, no. Because you don't have 5,000 friends. I have 5,000 people I want to listen to. Okay. That's how you you view it. See, I do um, that with Twitter. If I follow you yeah. on Twitter, it's because I want to hear you. And I, I still do Twitter like that, right? Yeah. Um, but Facebook is all about signaling to the system who you, do you want to listen to and how much do you want them to, to listen to them and for what, right? So I put everybody, like I saw your daughter there. So my school. first mistake was to say friends are actually friends. They should be people I want to listen to. A friend on Facebook is not a real life friend. In the real world, it means something. And in, in Facebook, it means I want to see your thing and I want you to see my thing. Uh, I'll show you now, yours. You could turn on following, so that like uh, uh, all the fans out there I do, can follow. I do, and I have a lot of followers. That means people who could see my feed but can't post to it, right? Uh, I, you can't see them. Okay. They can see you. You yeah. can't see their feed items, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's I'm all out. I'm allowing them to see what I what they you know to look at what I post. Yeah, and somebody right. like you is a very popular I'm a public figure. That's how you should do that, right? Yeah. That was the big change that allowed me to take those five thousand friends. Because they were, I allowed anybody, and I moved them into followers, and yep. now I'm only following. So, so let's go down. here. So I so don't categorize all, anybody. So, so should I start? First of all, see uh, Lisa's family. She should be family. Right. Okay. Now, go now to what do I do? Another list. Go down to add another list. Oh, okay. All right. And there should be a family. That should. Oh my God, this is there okay. You go. So I have to do this for 482 people. You have to do it for 400. Paul Therott, I want to add him to the list of t of twits. Twits. Why do I have two twits? I don't know. I have some screwed so up. So that's what I would, uh, if I wasn't. First late. thing I should do is fix my list. The first thing I would do is go through all your settings and make sure you're secure. The well, thing. let's do that, too. I don't want to not do that. All right, let's we do that time. because that's actually. Is that the and, very and first thing? That back. That's what I would do first because a lot of people really don't understand. Now, you're looking at your account settings here. Yeah. What? So yeah. let's just walk through these things. And, and this is, talk about there are literally hundreds of these. Yeah. And uh, and they change them regularly, so you can't really figure so it out. So the first thing I see is you haven't updated your password for five months. Most people haven't updated for years. And you, you really should have a different password every quarter or so. I, I'll tell you the truth. I have a second factor on this. Yeah. So I don't need to update that password that often but, because if somebody wants to log into my account, they have to send something click to my on security. phone. All right. There. So I do I do recommend turning on. And that's not quite obvious where that is, yeah. but it's in login approvals. Use your phone as an extra layer. So yeah. that's good to turn that on. And that's on. what I would go through. You yeah. have already done it, so we don't have to worry yeah. about it. But I would go through each one of these and uh, make sure I understood. I get notified when it looks like someone else is trying to access yeah, my account. Yeah, that's really cool because if somebody's trying to uh, get into your passwords, your phone will notify you and right. say, hey, somebody's trying to attack you. Right. Right. And that's really important. I turn on code generator on my mobile app. Yes. That's another way of getting a second factor authentication. Yeah, because if you update, if you try to sign into uh, something that needs your Facebook password, it'll ask you for that right. code and make sure that you're actually you. This makes sense. If you're going to put this much effort into Facebook, you want to lock it down because okay. you've spent some time making also this click work. Click on privacy. Over All on right. the left there. So, who can you see your stuff? This is. Uh, 
what kind of person are you? Now you're a public figure. You want you want to put something to, to Facebook and you want your fans to see it. And you also want to be able to put something to Facebook and have just the family see it. Right. And you can do that, by the way, once you put everybody in lists. Okay. That's why it's so important to go back to the When website. you share later granularly per share, you'll be able to say who gets to see that. Yeah. But my default is public. Your def uh, most people's default will be private. Right. Uh, uh, that's the difference between me and most people. You've switched it. Should I make it private? No. No, because I want I, I, I let people follow me. I want people to... Not unless you want to post something to just your daughter. Then you can... But I can way, do that. You can do that, right? I just have to remember to do that. So okay. let's see. Uh, review all things. Uh, who can send you friend requests? This is important for you not to make it too open because so, you'll get a lot And of by them. the way, this is a little broken. The other day I got a friend request from somebody who was not a friend of anybody. Uh, they probably had a friend request. Maybe they friend of removed if somebody unfriended them after they made the request, something Maybe. like that. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe but they're hacking. <laughs> if you want to request my friendship, you have to already be a friend of somebody else I know. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's I do that so I don't get overwhelmed with friend requests. Now I see that you turn on strict filtering. I have two on. What Messenger. is that? That means you're going to get a little bit less uh, messages to the home messenger screen. There's another box called other box that you should check, and we'll check that in a second. But but this is interesting. So mostly messages will be my friends from my friends but but apparently i'll be able to get some that aren't some. as it turns out that's those people who've paid a dollar to message me excellent <laughs> well but i don't get the dollar facebook does of course mark zuckerberg gets it all <laughs> but the, i find that very intriguing i can say strict filtering but people can still pay to get into my inbox so let's see i would that's probably bizarre. take you through apps and explain the consequences of being uh of, of giving your credentials to and you see apps. i have a lot of apps have my credentials right, 278 so. of them that's because i use the facebook login for many apps what i do is go through this every, periodically uh, turn this every off quarter every, every yeah. month or so and I remove things I don't use anymore yeah. because that reduces your surface, uh, uh, your your attack surface. Right. I don't. If I don't even know what some of these are, so I'm just going to take right. these out. Yeah, right do now. it later. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to do it now. So go back. We to have time. Don't worry, Robert. We have time. <laughs> Breathe. Take take a deep breath. <laughs> we'll have more with Robert Scoble and his Facebook lesson in just a moment. But uh, our show today brought to you by. Personalcapital.com. I love doing personal capital and triangulation because, of course, it came out of a triangulation episode. Bill Harris, the founder of Personal Capital, had joined us. He's a former CEO at Intuit and PayPal. And he was talking about this issue uh, of uh, planning for your future. You know, there was a time when everybody would have a financial advisor they'd go see, uh, whether it was at your bank or maybe you'd hire a stockbroker or something like that. And that's how you kind of plan for the future. The problem is, uh, do you trust that person? Are they giving you the right advice? Are they being paid on commission? It just wasn't a great system. And generally, people just fall off the edge of the earth. They just stop visiting the broker and, and they stop paying attention to their investments. And that's no way to plan for your future. In this Internet age, a lot of us, and this is what I do, thought, well, I'll just do it myself. I'll, I'll, I'll get an account at a brokerage and, uh, and I'll trade for myself. And this will be the way to plan for the future. Not a good idea either. I have to be honest with you. Um, we've got a better way. And it's great. And you're going to love it. And it's transformed how I have planned my retirement. It's called Personal Capital at personalcapital.com slash triangulation. The idea is you it's free. You log into Personal Capital. You set it up with all your accounts. Now you've got a great dashboard. You can see everywhere your money is, checking, savings, investments, assets, all in one page. You can see how they're doing. They have calculators and checkups, things like the 401k calculator. Uh, they could show you how you're in, if your investment's getting out of balance, how to rebalance it, whether you're paying too much in fees to either your brokerage or uh, to a financial advisor. I mean, it really is very useful. Of course, the apps are also available on iOS and Android. In fact, they are the first, I think, one of the first third-party apps to work with Android Wear. So with Personal Capital, I get alerts on my Android Wear watch, which is fabulous. Absolutely free. It just takes a minute to sign up, and it will pay big dividends for your life plan. To sign up for your free account, go to personalcapital.com slash triangulation. As long as you're online, you're fixing up your Facebook, just do that too. Fix up your life, your financial life. That's when you'll look back on it and say, I'm really glad I did that. Personalcapital.com slash triangulation. And now we get back. Thank you for supporting triangulation. Uh, now we get back to Robert Scoble. Okay, so those are the apps that I have uh, authenticated through. Yeah, let's go back to Facebook. Let's go back to Leo up in the top. Let's go back to me. Yeah. What about me? 
Yeah. And then let's go back to your friend list because this okay. that's really the key of this. So click on. Friends. Okay, so I'm now categorizing my yeah, friends. Yeah, let's go. Let, let's categorize Kevin Rose. Is he a close friend? Do you want to hear a lot from him, or do you want to just put him on a? I do list? that by putting him on on lists here. Yeah, yeah, but you want to also while you're putting him on Twit or on uh, whatnot, and you can put him. So on let's do. Uh, well, actually, he's a tech TV friend, and he's already in that one. Yeah. Uh, should I use? Uh, is it, what would you suggest? Colleague? Uh, no, no. Go, go back. So yeah, go back. Oh, oh, go no, back. Go back. And I would put them on close friends or acquaintances. Oh, so those are the default that are already there. Yeah, those are magical filters or lists. Uh, they're different than the other list you were putting them on. Close friends, if you put them on close friends, it means you're going to see some notifications from them. So if he posts something, you'll see a notification. Okay, I want to see notifications. And okay. See how it checked, it checked uh, right notifications. next to notifications? If I click acquaintances, it doesn't. Okay. You can be, you can put them in acquaintances and then turn on notifications. So you can play around. How with, is that different than close friends? Because uh, <laughs> acquaintances you can, you can means see how people might be confused. Acquaintances <laughs> means you're going to see less from him. Right, but I will get close notifications. Friend, right, close friends means you want to see more and notifications and notifications. Okay. Okay. It's uh, these two uh, folders along with the family list. Are magic folders. This they, person they is have consequences. This is my me. sister, but but the fact that she hasn't put a picture there tells me she probably doesn't use Facebook. But I am going to add her to my family list. Either that, or she does use Facebook and she's freaked out about its privacy. Yeah, my mom does that. Okay, yeah. Jeff Needles. He is a, a work buddy. What do, do I have a? Do I make him put in the, put him on the twit list? He already is. Yeah. Okay. So go back yeah. and put each one of those people on either close friend or acquaintance. Everybody? Yes. Put everybody on. Okay. Everybody should be Lisa's on close, a close friend or, or acquaintances. And and I'm not. See, part of this is the nomenclature. Doesn't mean they're close friends. Not not. What to it me. should really say is see more of this person, see less of this person. That's exactly right. Now, most people think if they're not on either means, list, I want to see more from this person because right. I'm drinking beer with him every Friday okay. night. Or, he, But I don't I'm, think, I'm I don't drink beer with Paul Thorat every Friday night, but I do want to see more of what he does. Right, so you want to put him on close friends. Will liking a post from him kind of do the same thing? No, it, it, first you'd need to do the granular stuff of okay. putting people like, like your- Everybody your, needs uh, to be categorized Your mom here. put her on a close friend or an acquaintance. That's my sister, so sister. she's a close friend. So All right. now- that's family a little confusing. Members, She's a family member. Family members uh, sometimes get really noisy, and then you have to fill, you have to turn them down. So say they're acquaintances. So, and that's really hard, right? It's hard yeah. to put Eva on your acquaintance list when she's your well. <laughs> when unfortunately, she's a close relative, right? The um, Robert Scobo, I'm going to say acquaintances because you post a lot, and I don't want to see everything you do. You still won't see everything I do. You'll just see more. <laughs> And by the way, you'll see notifications. So if you want to see notifications from me, and by the way, I I, I make a, a contract with you that I'm only going to bring you tech stuff, mostly. I'll bring but you. But see, that's a and this posts, is I'll bring you one of the problems politics. I have. I follow tech journalists yep. on Facebook, and I don't get. I get a. This is part of the problem with Facebook, and this is a difficult yeah. thing to solve. Is put him on a list and just do a whole bunch because it'll help us. Okay. okay. It actually, when you start doing a list, it actually helps. By, by the uh, way, Facebook. I noticed the people who I've liked are close to the top of this list. Oh yeah. So it's already sorted this list a little bit by people it, I engage. I like I engage with, right? Yep. Um. So it's acquaintance. It's keeping track. It, it, believe me, acquaintance. It, it is keeping track at a. Whoops. Very high level. Heather, my call screener. I'm sorry, Heather, but you are merely an acquaintance. Becky Worley, see, I love you. You're a close friend. So you shouldn't do this in public. No, although I do. <laughs> uh, but you can see mine, right? All right. Uh, you can see. Uh, so I'm going through yeah. these, and these are close friends, acquaintances. So you say I should go through all 282 of these people. You should go through at least uh, a, a, an eighth or a quarter of them because it'll get you started. Okay. And when we uh, click over to the close friend. This list. will have changed my, my feed. Paul Block, close friend, Jack Friday. Acquaintance, Mark Cantor, acquaintance, Allison Strawn, oh, close friend, right. uh, Joe Talbot, acquaintance. So these are, it's, these are. The truth is, I like them all. I wouldn't be, they wouldn't be my friends on right. Facebook if I didn't like them. But so really, gives, I'm not saying that alone close, gives you. Now let's go to the back. shell. That guy, I don't want to see his stuff. Yeah, he's my okay. book. <laughs> so let's go back to the top. Okay, so I've done let's some go, stuff now. Click on home. All right, so now I'm going to see how this. Now there's, as people pointed out last week. There are two feeds. There's top stories and most recent. Yeah. First of all, give up on most recent. 
That's a purely chronological? Yeah, and it doesn't work. And everybody said, oh, if Leo, it, if you just follow the most recent, all of this will go away. No. You're saying no. No, I'll, let, I'll explain. You're saying let Facebook decide. Yes. And look what it did. It put Mike Elgin, who works for you, on top talking about the show. It's starting to get contextual because you've given it a little bit of signal about who you want to Well, see. and I also like the previous post because what Mike's doing is watching this and posting that he's watching this while he's watching this. And then if I like it again... Very meta. It's, it's going <laughs> to happen again. So we've got this very Inception-like thing going on. Yeah. All right. So, so now, that's good. I'm glad to see that. And that is, that is actually should be on the top of my list. Yeah. Now look at mine, right? I have all my lists arranged here so I can click yeah. on them. I can click on my family feed and see that. I can click on my acquaintance feed and see that. By the way, when you click on uh, lists like acquaintance or family, those lists are showing you all. Those are the most recent. So you don't. That the, becomes chronological. The main feed, you should let the algorithm work. And just okay. live with it. And, and, and should it I put everybody in a list? Everybody. Okay. Everybody in my uh, 5,000 friends has been put in a list. That's a lot of work. It is uh, thousands of hours of work in my case right. because I'm always tuning you. Uh, you know, if, if Leo, uh, you go, start going off the deep end and just start posting So you might politics, demote me, right? I will demote you right. because I don't want to see politics. What would you do? Would you make me acquaintance? Yeah. That would be sufficient? Yeah, right now you're a close friend because you're a tech guy. Because I don't post posting. that often, Well, <laughs> even if you did, you're uh, posting, every time you post, uh, okay. you post tech stuff, right? Okay. So let's um, figure out how well, to some, Most of these, these lists feeds. I'm seeing here were automatically created. Uh, there's family and close friends. Yeah. I'm not sure where freelance tech guy even comes from. I think this is a job. Yeah. This is in my, these are jobs I had. So, so it's. See, go over by close friends. Okay. See the little square. Ah, the little, uh, I can add that to my favorites, yeah. which I would want to do. Yeah. Family, same thing. Yeah. Okay, let's add that to my favorites. So and that can then goes in where? where does, oh, it, up here. Right up there. Okay. Now, if you move things around, it also moves it around on mobile, which is really great. So, okay. and that. That tip you need to do on Facebook on a desktop computer or on the on right. a web version. Of In fact, Facebook. most of what we're doing now you should do on your desktop. Eh, some you you can do on most okay. of it you can do on your phone. And the, the uh, to prepare for the show, I uh, took uh, the superintendent of charter schools at uh, Oakland, and uh, in an hour I updated her phone, and then I asked her the next day what happened, and she said, "Oh my God, my feed's way better," and I'm just doing the same thing. Wait a minute, you made her feed better by in an hour just by putting everybody on a close friend or an acquaintance list, just, just by just uh, that, and okay. changing some of her settings so that she had security, okay, uh, and and changing the UI so she could find the list because Facebook doesn't uh, really help you. No, I never, I never click on the lists. Yeah. You so should. now, by putting them in favorites, I can say these are close friends. Yeah. I now, can say this is family. It's a short right. list. Now, uh, actually, notice, Deb, Deb is family, go, right? Go Your back sister? over here. Yeah. Notice what's so going on. I over should here. make her a family member. Hold on a second. I, I found somebody in, that's in my family. Uh, okay. All right. So over here. List suggestions. These uh, Facebook, once you give it some signal, it starts giving you suggestions. And oh. the suggestions get better based on the signal you give but it. But none of these people are actually family members. Then cross them off. There, uh, How do you cross them off? Just X them? X? Oh, I'm going to say, nope, not family, not family. Robert, well, he's pretty close. He's almost my brother. Yeah. He's By the my way, father. That's an interesting uh, advance tip. I put people on this list who my wife brought into my life. Okay. In other words, they're people... They don't have to be relatives. They don't have to be relatives, but they need to be people that came into my life through family. I did that to be able to segregate them from my tech people who I want on the right. main feed. Right. So I want to put everybody on lists. Um, so none I'm of not these in people your family. Are, I'm out of the will, man. You're out of the will. None of those people were my family. I have two, <laughs> three family members. Okay. So, but I should go then now to close friends. Right. Will it do the same thing? Yeah. I'll say, okay. See over here. You know, Patrick should be in my close friends list. I'm going to add him. And click see more suggestions. Yeah. So this speeds things up. It speeds things I up. I think Clayton should be in there. And, uh, more, and X out people. X out. I, I love Sumi and I love Owen, but they're not family. I'm a close friends, close friends. This is painful to people. I'm sure they're getting... They're sad now watching this but, happen. Uh, here's how I decide. <laughs> You're not a friend. You're no friend of mine. Give me a name. I'll, I'll pull up their... Uh, uh, a person I know? Yeah. Somebody who's public. You know, like Johnny Jet. Johnny... I like yeah. Johnny. He's, uh, he's right on the line, acquaintance and close friends. So he's... Uh, Seems founder, very binary, right? He's founder at johnnyjet.com? Yeah. 
And what, what are you going to do now? No, what I'm looking at. So let's say he get, give me a friend. He's a friend of mine, by the way. So he's an acquaintance, and I'm following him. Yeah. By the way, um, if you see see over here. Yeah. Uh, next to the friend. Yeah. Uh, it says following. following. Yeah. I can remove him from my main feed without unfriending him. So uh, let's say by unchecking guy, following. Let's say this guy is going to cause me a lot of drama by unfollowing yeah. him, unfriending yeah. him, because yeah. he works with me or he's. When you unfriend family. somebody, does it tell them you unfriended them? They can figure it out because all of a sudden they're not friends of you, and they knew they were friends of uh, yours before. So you got to be a. There's drama in it. Right. I don't want to create drama. Uh, so what can I do to unfriend somebody without actually unfriending them? You can them? unfollow them. Unfollow them. Well, first you can move them into the acquaintance feed. If, so they, they have a long way to go down. <laughs> I see. You can demote them. You All right. You can demote them. You can... Uh, uh, I'm going to add Johnny Jet. I want to see more of Johnny. You can put them... Uh, you can unfollow them, which means they unfollow from the main feed. And then right. when you first open up Facebook, it does not remove them from lists. So if, you, if he's on your acquaintance list and you click on acquaintance, you'll still see him on the list. Right. You won't see him on the main feed. If you want, And then you can tune him further. At, and uh, we all do this by hiding his posts or liking his right. posts, commenting on his posts. Sharing his posts is really a, a big a signal. So see what you're doing. You're just going through. and, and I'm just going through. Actually, Anne should be in the family. So that's going to. So I now see that. And I said, oh, there's a family person. All right, I'll add her later, the family. Yeah. All right. So anyways. At Molly Wood, close friend. Yeah. Jessica Corbin, close friend. Okay. All right. All right. So now uh, go to acquaintances and let's check that out. Acquaintances? Yeah. Where would I find that? that Under friend. friends probably, right? Some people are friends. Some are acquaintances. Yeah. There we go. Click. Actually, go back to that. Go back. Go okay. Back that. All right. Um, click the little. Uh, the, the, oh, I got to. What the hell? Where did they go? Oh, there we go. All right. Add, Add to favorites. Yeah, acquaintances should be up there. Okay. And what else? What other? Uh, Is there other stuff that maybe other lists that I would want to have in there? All right. Let's see. Let's see. That would be in the uh, friends. Yeah. All right. See, it looks like it made groups based on jobs I've had. So freelance yeah, tech yeah. guy is a job. So what can I delete that? You can archive, archive the list. list. That list is a bad list. I don't care. This and says, I would do this with uh, groups, with lists. I have a lot of, and, like, and look at all that. I have two tech TV. I should archive the one that's empty probably. Yeah, that's yeah. that's bad. Yep. So this, they, they auto created these based on my resume, I guess. Probably. Yeah. You added, uh, I've got twit.tv and twit. I don't know which one I want. So Can each, I merge them? Uh, probably God not. Knows. I don't God know. God knows. God like or Zuckerberg. and play with them for a while. Yeah. But that makes really boring TV to go through each Okay, but these. I'm having fun now. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm just getting rid of is always good. I don't know why there's three twit entries here. Yeah. So I have a twit page. That's probably why. Right. Here's my high school, my college. Here's a previous job. Here's other an existing jobs. So, okay, this so, is pretty good. That so list is good. So what you do is go through this. Should I create a tech guy, a tech journalist list? No, 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 no. No? I got, I got one of those. You're gonna, can, can you give that to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what you can give people later. lists? Yeah. Oh. So click on acquaintances. All right. Well, let's go to acquaintances. All right. Yeah. So <laughs> notice over here. Is, what, why, what is that picture doing there? That's Marco Guarnieri, of, uh, formerly and, of Citrix. Why is that picture By there? the way, that's uh, something it starts doing when you give it signals. It's just it a starts, random picture. No, it's but not I'm random. In it. It's not random. He's probably a, an acquaintance yes, friend Yes, he is. Yours. Yes. So you put him on the acquaintance list. It found a photo of him and you Got together, it. which makes a Facebook. Now, oddly, problem. Facebook says acquaintances are friends you want to see less of in newsfeed. Yes. <laughs> so it's okay. Yeah. So add everybody over here. Yeah, Sarah Austin. These are all people I'm following. You're saying everybody I follow who's not a close friend or family member should right. just be an acquaintance. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Adam. Just, just right, Adam. Just go. Yep, 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 yep. I'm not even going to think about it. Yep. Uh, later, you can, can I go back and fix it? You can always it? move them around. Right. Yeah. Uh, see all suggestions. Now, this one. What is this? Facebook learned that you're trying to give it a little bit more signal and trying to fix things up. And it helps you so these are put people everybody on. Who are not acquaintances... But it know it's watching that they're not. Well, I definitely want to add him to my acquaintance. No, no, no. Oh, Keep oh I unchecked him. Yep. Go to the bottom. Everybody on here, unless I don't know them. Just go to the bottom. Go to the bottom. Add to acquaintance. Yeah, Tony's an acquaintance. So what it did, uh, and don't okay. share. Say no, thank you. What does that mean? Oh, Say that's no, that's. It's trying to spam all your family friends <laughs> saying, "Oh, I just uh, cleaned up my." How do I not do that? Don't say no thanks. Right? Oh, just no thanks. No don't thanks. do that. Okay. Don't share. You must provide a recipient. Okay, wait a minute. Let me give you a recipient and then say, no thanks. No thanks. 
<laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Now let's go back to Clinton's list. Again. Are you getting a lot out of this, everybody? No. Is this very, are you just, is this like you're going to really go home and stuff. do this all at home? Right? No, no. We'll have more with uh, the Scobalizer and uh, Facebook and uh, fi <laughs> fixing up Facebook to make it work better. But first a word, and this is particularly for the mobile developers out there uh, who want to take uh, payments in your mobile app. Did you know that on the desktop, uh, it, about 70% of all your customers stop at the cart? That's the abandonment rate for shopping carts. S they start, they click items, they add them to the cart, they go to the cart, and 70% just stop. And you've done it too. I know I've done it. Because a cart's too complicated, it's too weird, I don't trust it, whatever. It's not a good system. And by the way, that rate is for desktop. It's higher on mobile because you're sitting here with your phone and it's like hard. you got to make it easier. If you want people in this mobile world to buy online, you've got to make it easier. And that's what Braintree does. You might have heard of Braintree, but you've certainly used it. Braintree is the processing uh, back end, the mobile payments for GitHub. For Uber, have you ever used an Uber? You've used Braintree. Airbnb, Venmo, you ever use them? We talk about them a lot. Hotel Tonight, Living Social, they all use Braintree. Braintree is helping solve a problem that's huge in online commerce. Getting the, the transaction to go through all the way. And Braintree scaled with many of these companies. With GitHub, they went from zero to 60. I mean, they just, they started at the beginning and they built that business up and they want to do the same thing with you from processing your first dollar to your billionth uh, dollar. They support all the payment types your customers would want, of course, credit cards, debit cards, PayPal, Venmo, Bitcoin. Yes, Bitcoin. They are going to support Apple Coin when it comes out. They're international, 130 currencies. This is such good news for you. Such good news for you. They have fraud protection, great customer service. They are on every platform. And, and getting it up and running is as simple as... Can be, can be as simple as 10 lines of code in your app. They have an amazing SDK. I want you to take a look at it. They support all the, the languages, .NET, Node.js, Java, Perl, PHP, Python, and Ruby, Android, iOS, JavaScript clients. If you don't have time, give them a call. They'll even handle the integration for you and walk you through it. And right now, you get $50,000, your first $50,000 in transactions, fee-free. It's like free money in your pocket, plus best-of-class customer service. I, I think this is such a great solution. If Braintree is known for their back-end security, for their merchant protection, you don't ever have to worry about fraud. You don't have to worry about getting hacked. They've got you covered. They're, they're super secure. They use tokens to secure payment information. Your users will like that because the user's information is not passed on to the merchant server. Uh, it's just the fastest, easiest, most secure way to pay, period. I want you to try it. Visit BraintreePayments.com slash twit. Take, out, take a look at the developer documentation. It's really good. I, I, I read it. It's very well done. Play around in the sandbox. You can actually, if you go to BraintreePayments.com slash twit, you can use the sandbox to experience what it's like for your customers and even test your integration before you go into production. Once you decide to implement one touch, your first $50,000 in transactions are fee-free. BraintreePayments.com slash Twit, give him a try today. Meanwhile, I should I should give uh, Scoble just a dollar for helping with this. Robert Scoble continues with our Facebook lesson. Already, I feel I feel better about Facebook. You know why? This is the IKEA principle. You know this principle. IKEA knows that if you build your own furniture, you'll love it more because you put so much effort into yeah. it. Facebook knows the more effort you put into Facebook, the more you're going to like it. You've invested in it. Yeah. What are you doing? You're I'm just clicking gonna, people. I, you're no, I'm putting them all on the. List. You're giving me all these people asking for more. Yeah, follow all of them. Put them all on the acquaintance list. Okay. No, thank you. And you just keep doing. So it you're going to get everybody now. you know on an acquaintance list. Yes. And then you can go back through and. Uh, then later I can well, do something see, else with them. Let's already look back at your friends and see what it did. Okay. What did it do? Everybody. So most people now see how we started out. There was most uh, mostly check marks here. Right. And look at it. It already reorganized everybody based on the signal you've given it. Okay. So it's it's like, oh, he, I all of a sudden I have signal. Okay. And here's uh, somebody. So I, I go through and put everybody on acquaintance list unless they're a close friend. 
And that's how you change it, too. So tomorrow when you go, oh, shit. Oh, I can know. easily go back and say, no, no, that was a close friend. You can put Stuart back on yeah. close friend. All right. right. Okay. So, so check back. marks means they're close friends? No, check marks means you haven't done anything with them. Well, I made him a close friend. No, that's that's a star. No, but star why is there a check? Oh, that's verified. That's verified. No, okay, fine. Jarvis All right. Jarvis is oh, I didn't know Facebook had verified. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's go back to home. So Dick should be a close friend. So I'm going to make him a close friend. Yeah. All right. So the more sig anyway, so this is really boring TV. So but we we're won't do it all here. we're pouring signal into Facebook. The more signal you give it, the better it starts serving you. And right? in theory, as you used it day in and day out, if you used it with an eye towards this, yeah. it would get better day in day out. Right? I, and so you don't have to do little, this all at once. No, here's a little tip that. But a lot I do of want do. you to tell me the things that are most important to do right away. Yeah, uh, putting everybody in a list is most important. Okay. And reorganizing your list so you can get to the lists is really important. Okay. Because then you'll start using the list and you'll start seeing, like, click on family. Uh, See, what I thought is, oh, I should just like anything I like. That That's one piece of signal, but uh, it's not as having good. lists is really important because okay. lists show you everything. The feed at top should be a filtered feed. Right? Okay. So it's the, it's the reverse of Twitter. Twitter... Uh, the main feed shows you everything, and then there's a a, a a filtered feed deeper in the product where you can get filtered. Okay, right? little little tip here, Lisa. Tell Debbie not to start liking brands like crazy. Her sister just joined Facebook, and already she likes Cheerios. Uh -huh. She likes Coles. This is not good. Yeah. She wants it, ads from Cheerios. Won't she get more ads? She will get more ads, and she'll get more content from Cheerios. Does she want more content from Cheerios? Yes. Okay. She wants Maybe more she's content. getting coupons from co the right. Cheerios, okay. right? Okay. But I would recommend not doing. In that. fact, is it a bad idea to like brands? Uh, it, it's more signal about what you want to see, and you're going to see more signal about what you want to see. So if you say I like Cheerios, you're going to see more stuff about Cheerios. Got it. Uh, so it's not good or bad. It's just, but be careful. And, and at my range now, I've given it seven thousand. I have seven thousand likes on the like pages, right? Yeah, I know because um, almost anything, any ad that I get in my feed. Robert Scoble likes whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. Because the second item in every feed is is, a, is an ad, right? Uh, Actually, like that's that. not now happening. Yeah, you notice. If Did you I give fix it, more, it? If you give it more signal. Look what, at that. There's no more ads. Do you know what you just told Facebook? What? That you're no longer a beginning user. <gasps> that you're an uh, you're advanced user. And There's you're no wanting, ads in my feed. And you want to get more signal out of it. Here's an ad. There's an ad. There's an ad. It so, took me, I had to go halfway down. <laughs> it just crossed you from beginning user where we're just going to show you random st stuff and see if you engage on right. it to being an advanced user where you're giving it signal and it's like oh okay this guy's different than now well let me and ask you this ad, i see this ad i uh, i'm seeing this ad because they bought an ad and two of my friends like rosetta stone yep. is that why yeah if no, i no, did no, no. Uh, you're going to see this ad no matter what no matter what because you're in the demographic for the ad. Okay. But the two people up there have also liked the page, and they know that if your friends like I that see that brand, they like it. You're yeah. more likely to buy it. It's the same reason why Twit advertising is so good. Now, I can go because in here and say... you say you like Carbonite, right? right? It's an endorsement. It's I understand. It's an endorsement, yeah. and it's, uh, it, it, it makes it warmer, right? I can. I do. If I click the down uh, arrow, say, see, I don't want to see this. Hide all ads yep. from Rosetta Stone. Yep. They allow that because Rosetta Stone wants doesn't want to advertise to somebody who's not interested. Nope. Why am I seeing this? We'll just tell us a little bit about their ad policies. Yep. And this ad is useful. We'll say, what will that do? Will I get a lot more? Yes. <laughs> You're giving it signal about the ads you like yeah. to see. So if you if you like to see good ads, give it some signal. It's not about a bad the thing, right? In fact, it's not a bad thing. If this if I if I wanted to see more ads of this kind, it would be not, it would be replacing ads that I didn't, didn't want to see as much yeah. of. Is this an ad? So, what is this? This is from a product, The Verge. The Verge is a, is a tech blog. So you haven't liked The Verge yet. It gives you a chance <laughs> to like it. Yeah. So it'll start But why is more. this in my feed? Because somebody else liked that I item. Ah, Barry Goldberg, who I do follow, and that's liked how, it. That's why uh, um, following people who are good curators really ah. will make your feed a lot better. So this so is when, a friending strategy, right? When Wired writer Matt Honan started liking everything... Yep. One of the side effects he noticed is his people, his friends thought he'd ha he was crazy because all of a sudden he's all up in their feed because he's liking stuff. Yep. So the side effect of liking stuff is it's going to go in your friends' feeds. Right. So think of yourself as a curator and like stuff that 
is good stuff. Right. Okay. This is why when you look at my friend I'm list, at yours, yeah. you know, I have people on it like Scott Jordan, uh, Sam Follow Levin, people who are good curators. Curators. You know, Jeremiah Oyang's an analyst. Ayelet Knopf is a PR yeah. person in yeah. Israel. Reese Jones is a really bright guy. So you, you're not using layering. Facebook as a friend thing or a family I thing. I am because you can use it for all the above. You don't need to just use it for family and friends anymore. It is a information service. It's a router. It's an inf it's a uh, information router. You know, I have to say, just from what we've done already, it, it, it does look more interesting to me. I'm I'm more intrigued in it. I can see that if I want to see what my close friends are up to, I just yeah. click that button, and I'll have close friends. If I want to see what my family's up to, I click family, so, and I'll have. So and like, I love these pictures. Yeah. Um, okay. So like I, I have Sam Altman, this the, the uh, CEO of uh, Y Combinator. I have Chris Hewer started social. So media I need club. to follow those Andy people. Grignan, who built the iPhone. I have Paul Mabry, who runs a company. Is following like friending? Uh, following is a lighter weight version of friending. Okay. Friending is heavier. It, it, it's all weights, uh, right. and it's all funny math. That's why you complain about it, and why it's so hard to define how to get something well, through the feed. My, because there's my, hundreds of algorithms trying to figure out what to put on your feed. My chief uh, critique still stands, which is that it's opaque and unpredictable. And on purpose. Because they don't want you to figure out the rules because then people like game you it. will game it. And that's what happened. <laughs> to, well, that's what happened it's to just, Dig, for instance. Why Dig ended up going out of business. It got also, so gamed. Also, the rules have been changing literally every couple of days. Well, it's ironic because the day you were on, the next day Facebook changed the rules. Yeah. And they're changing it in a minor way many times a week. Uh, the the guys who I talked to the team who made the news feed, they check in code several times a day, and so they can tweak one of those algorithms. Right. And by the way, they have a finger on the on the uh, scale too. They can so, they can put push your your item to everybody if they want. And so there is a. I gotta say, yeah. Google does exactly the same thing. They're tweak for search. They're tweaking the feed every yeah. day. They're trying to notice signals from you to modify the search. Google, for some reason, doesn't seem so capricious and and yeah. opaque. Yeah. They seem more transparent and more reasonable. But they are doing the same thing. Yeah. It's their it's goal just, to do uh, the same thing. Facebook asks you emotional words like friend and like. That's and a good point. Because Facebook is a machine learning system that's trying to study your emotional connections to people places things and ideas right and and so each one of those things if you check in more you're going to start seeing all sorts of fun stuff around the places you check in location add location as, um, as i go to when i went to coachella i started seeing news about coachella right right and why because well because you're there because some of my friends were there sure but also I'm there, and it knows that I'm there, and it it figures it wants me to see more information. When I click this news feed link, does it refresh it completely and give me a whole new set of stuff? Um, when you, yeah, when you refresh When it. I refresh. If you leave it on the screen, it'll refresh every 30 seconds anyways. And that and people complain about that as well because they, they were looking at something. And it didn't it did it, it didn't save their spot and it's gone. I by the way, I'm already liking this better. One thing I I do wonder, and a lot of people complain about. Um, the automatic video roll. I can turn that off. You can. That's in a, it's setting, in a setting somewhere, and it's in a separate setting on your mobile phone. So there's one setting for the desktop and one setting for your mobile phone, and yeah. I think it's inside uh, uh, settings slash Facebook. I leave it on, but you can change it also to only come on when you're on Wi-Fi so it's not uh, chewing through yeah. your data plan. You can set that. Okay, because yeah. I had a caller on the radio show right. so my data plan just died um, and I think it's because of these autoplay videos so you can say, well, only when I'm on Wi-Fi. Yeah, let me... Uh, I actually am already liking this better. So if you go it's to First of all, I'm not getting the, number, the ads I used to get which is very surprising. Yeah, yeah. Here you you'd go. think you'd get more ads. Uh, if you go to settings yeah. uh, in the iPhone and Android has a different place. Right. But when settings. you go to settings, you go down to Facebook. Yeah. And then you click settings Oops. again. So you're clicking into Facebook settings. And then they have autoplay. You can set it to off, on, or Wi Fi only. Okay. Fine. So this is That's only fine. on mobile. This is not uh, on the desktop. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. Mobile. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is iOS. Well, wait, wait, here's videos video default quality, autoplay videos, 
on or off. But this is only when I use the website. So right. you, when you go to mobile, you'll see other settings. Yeah, you have to set it two places. This is for web, the, right. uh, if you're on mobile. And right. mobile is where you uh, hit the consequence. Because if you're yeah, watching, yeah, yeah. if these videos are spraying bits to your screen and you don't care about it, you're using your data plan, right? <laughs> so if you're in a country where uh, the data plan is charging you by bits, you know, it gets a little expensive. Uh, I have unlimited, so it doesn't matter to me. But I still turn it off because... I, I just don't want it. How about comments? Is this is just if a if a post shows up, I want to see the comments. There's no way to control the comments. No, you can co you can control who gets to comment on your post. Okay, you can delete comments. So if you're uh, yeah. seeing spam, you can you. What I would do is block them first, then go back and delete the comment. Uh, right, because once you delete it, you can't block it. So right. block then delete. All right. <laughs> yeah, I've discovered that. Okay, and blocking on Google Plus means that uh, not only will you not see their stuff, but they can't see any more of your stuff. Is it the same on Facebook? Right. So if I block somebody, they no longer even see my stuff. No, they can't even see your homepage. We don't, we're it, not it connected it, anymore. It disconnects it, us. It gives an error. By the way, you have to be signed in on Facebook just to see content. That's something that pisses yeah. off a lot of Twitter users. Can't use it anonymously, as you can with Twitter. Can't use it anonymously, and yeah. you have to be signed in to use it. And uh, I put a lot of value into my account, and I link to it, and people complain. I am not on Facebook. It's like, dude, it, it, 1.3 billion people get over it. I'm sorry. Scoble was talking. I missed it. I was about to give Ozzy a treat from his brand new Bark Box. The new Bark. Ozzy loves this when the new Bark Bark Box is here. We have video, I think, from his uh, the last Bark Box. What is Bark Box? Well. It's it's uh, doggy treats by mail, a monthly subscription of high quality, fun, and healthy treats, toys, and goodies for your dog. Ozzy loves his bark box. It's kind of a fun thing when it comes. He gets so excited. Each month's box is new and different, full of great surprises for your dog, including unique products you won't find at your typical big box pet store. It's really a, a great boutique product. And by the way, I, I, I the Ozzy doesn't know, but you'll be glad to know all treats are sourced from the U.S. and Canada. The chews are made in the U.S., Canada, South America, Australia, and New Zealand. Edible products never include raw hide or anything processed with formaldehyde. Minimal processing, often organic whenever possible. No glycerin, no wheat, gluten, soy, or corn fillers, also whenever possible. Rest assured that everything's paw tested by the office pups, and your dogs will love it. Now, I haven't shown Ozzy his new bark box. That's, the, that's last month's. Here's his new bark box. You want to see it? What are you going to get, Ozzy? Oh, Yumsies, turkey, I mean, sorry, jerky burgers, dog treats made with real duck. Barbecue duck. You know, we don't give Ozzy any grain. Uh, the vet said, you know, really, uh, a dog, especially a small dog like Ozzy, grain-free is the way to go. By the way, you can get your bark box in uh, a variety of sizes for the doggy in your life. So these are all for little dogs because Ozzy's a little baby dog. If you have a big dog, you'll get bigger treats. Look at that. He's going to have fun. That's going to be a tug toy, I could tell. That's a throw toy. Barkley. What else do we get? Indigo smoke. Oh, bacon for dogs. Oh, Ozzy. We can't give him real bacon, but we can give him indigo bacon treats. There's smokehouse strips. What's this? Crunchy rabbit chews. That's good for his teeth. Keep them clean. The vet said we need to give him these too. Here's a special offer for fans of Triangulation and their four-footed friends. Save 20% when you sign up for a new subscription. BarkBox.com slash T-R-I. By the way, BarkBox also gives 10% of their revenue to local rescues and shelters across the U.S. and Canada. So they're nice people. Your subscription will help dogs in need. BarkBox.com slash T-R-I for 20% off your first bark box. Oh, and it describes all the stuff in here. The Loopy's Letterman jacket. That is so cool. And you can reorder these. So when Ozzy, when we find treats that Ozzy just goes crazy for, they've got a reorder code right on here. It makes it very easy. Barkbox.com slash T-R-I. I wonder if Scoble will like Back to Robert Scoble in our Facebook lesson. So let's add to you some lists that, I, that I'm creating. Okay. Oh, now, yeah. Th so, so Robert's helping me make my Facebook more useful. I, I was, frankly, uh, about to kill Facebook. Just I, know I actually took it off the mobile platform because I just I found it depressing every time I looked at it. Now, you've sent me a link. I just By the way, happy something. birthday. My I birthday? see you're happy. You invited me to your 50th birthday. Yeah. By the way, event, we should talk about events. 
nobody else can see that event except from the people I've invited. And to. now all the people on There's TV. Like, there okay. is a privacy policy on Facebook, and it actually does work. That's <laughs> nice. All right. It's a little weird to figure out. So I've just work. clicked this list, yeah. Tech News. Can I add this to my feed? You sure can. You can click follow. So there's Natalie Morris interviewing the vice president. That's fun. Yeah. And uh, and then and it looks like uh, so so that's because that she's your friend or because she's my no, friend. No, no. She's on this tech news list. She's on this list. So we'll talk about lists. So These now are... by following this list, I'm going to add this to my lists. Yeah. Let's go over to the le left. Uh, keep going down. Da, 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 da. Interests. Click on, click on interests. So these are things, these are lists. See how it's over now, here. can I put this in favorites? Because yes, I, I want it to be in my favorites. Yes, you can. Okay. Now click add. Uh, don't go away. Click add interests. I can add other interests. You can add Because I don't have interest. enough. Oh, I'm interested. Thomas Hawk is a list of photographers. That's right. good. And see how my start There's up. your startup. And it, and it came up because of you. Yes. Tech people who aren't future. dummies. I bet I'm not on that list, but <laughs> I should follow it. I Be, be careful. As with all things, I would uh, consider each thing and follow only what you really are emotional <laughs> Basically, about, right? just follow Robert Scoble. Well, no, there's a couple other lists that I follow. Yeah. Like the news list from Vadim is really good. Is that a good one? Okay, yeah, Vadim. That, no, that's a news list from CNN and BBC and Economist. So and now, that. well, see, but that's the kind of thing I would perhaps, if I put that in my favorites, when I'm looking at news... I could go there, just click that, and I'm just going to get news. Yeah, do it for all those, because those are all good news. Those are all good? Yeah. Okay, I already did it for tech news. I don't want to have too much over here. Yeah, you do. Really? Yeah, because when I'll you start using it, you want to be able to just click, click, click. Yeah, it's hard to it, get to otherwise. It, you know, what you want to do is build an inbound, so when you're using it on Twitter, you're using it on one of your shows, you can say, oh, what are all the investors thinking of this? Right, right, ah. like on, uh, on September 9th, when everybody's announcing Apple stuff yeah. and talking about it. I can see how the investors are reacting to it. I can see how the PR people are reacting to it. I can see how the tech journalists are reacting to it. So then you can uh, use it on though part of the problem? Say, so here's, this is the uh, tech people who aren't dummies. And I'd agree, Dennis Crowley, founder of Foursquare, is not a dummy. However, Dennis sometimes posts really great stuff and sometimes pictures of watermelon. I'm going to get both. So hide the watermelon. Hide the watermelon? Yeah, so over here and say, I don't want, I don't like this post. Not all from, tw just no, no, I don't no. like this post. I don't like that post. And that's, will Facebook be smart enough to know that that's watermelon, not dens that I don't want? Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I can say hide all from dens and if it, I want. And it's changing because uh, Mark Zuckerberg's building a content search engine. So, uh, you know. So soon it's going to know that was yellow watermelon and I don't like yellow watermelon. And it. Ah, now it says, why don't you want to see this? It's annoying. You, to, you can just close X, by the way. But, I I, heard but, you on but, the air. but this goes on. Look, yep. why don't, why was it annoying? Too many posts? No, it's trying to sell me. It's silly. I don't care. I don't know. I'm just not in the mood Something for watermelon. Else. Okay. And then this, I'm just going to cancel out of this, yeah. resolve a problem. There's no problem because I like right. Dennis. Okay. And actually, trying this to, was an Instagram picture. It's trying to ask you for signal. And it doesn't know why you don't like that picture, and it's trying to ask you for signal. But in the future, you know, 20 years from now, it's going to know you don't like watermelon. Yeah. You're going to be able to say, I don't like watermelon. Right. Don't show me pictures of watermelon. Right. Um, I hit all Twitter, by the way. So anybody who brings automatic tweets. You don't in, want Twitter? I don't want to see any tweets. How about Instagram? Do you mind Twitter. Instagram in there? I don't mind Instagram because it's I don't want to see this there. picture. Right. So I, uh, I don't like this post. Why? You don't even have to tell it that. I don't think it should be on Facebook. It's annoying. <laughs> it's not interesting. I don't want to see. The more signal you give it, the better it gets, right, for everybody because it starts figuring <sighs> out. Uh, what I just don't want to see car crashes on my Facebook feed. All right. and uh, Okay. And now, by the way, I'm deep into tech people who aren't dummies of all things. Yeah. By the way, I don't think I'm on that list. Yeah. You <laughs> see some nice pictures. You are. Yeah. <laughs> Cheryl Sandberg is. So, right. <clears throat> yeah, uh, uh, lists are fun. So let's go back up and talk more about lists. This is good. Yeah. All right, lists. Go back. So I'm going to press uh, home. home. All right. So I have now added to the favorites, uh, not only do I have close friends and family and acquaintances, but I have tech news, news, photographers. Am I going to see beautiful pictures in photographers? Yeah, I guess mostly. I am. Because uh, uh, Thomas Hawk, if you start. <laughs> this, this post shows up everywhere. <laughs> Mark, Mike Elgin is good at being Mike a virus. Mike is very good. <laughs> My, of all the people, who, and it's funny because he doesn't really focus on Facebook, but he knows how to use it, doesn't he? Uh, he's amazing, yeah. yeah. Someday he'll give up Google+. Plus. <laughs> well, what's funny is uh, photography is better on Google+. Plus because It is. Bigger, the pictures are better images. Yeah, yeah. 
but there's more photographers on Facebook. And there's more just, of everything on Facebook. And with one click, you can find a, a list of really good photographers. Yeah. Over on Google+, Plus, you have to beg Thomas Hawk to send you a, a circle, and he can only right. send you 500 people. Right. So I uh, go back to add interests. So go back okay. to interests over down here. Go down here to interests, yeah. and let's right. add some more interests. Yeah, All right. So click uh, a type startups. Instance, okay. Because I assume you're interested in startups. Actually, I'm not. But go ahead. All right. Okay, well, well, we'll do. Well, that's fine. But you'll see my Your, list. Uh, yours, which I think I've already added, but maybe not. Nope. Okay. That's, so you startups. can follow that. Now, that one is a, a funny list. It has three thousand startups, and I it's keep huge. updating it. It's right? huge. Yeah. Um, that's why I don't really want to follow that. And as soon as you go home, I'm no. But uh, that. Uh, if you click on it, yeah. so click on startups. Oh, well, you could see before you follow it. You could see what you're going right. to get. You can yeah. see the consequences of following this list. Yeah. And maybe you only want to follow five people. Right. Well, then you can follow the five people. By that's the way, you good. can that's see a great image. Each, each page has a like button next to it because you haven't liked these things. So you can go through a list ah. and say, I don't want 3,000 startups, but Got I might it. want 15. These I do want. Yeah. Right? I might want Dropbox. Right. I might want Twitter. I might want okay. uh, you know, whatever. That's a fun list to see what uh, the new companies are doing and thinking about and marketing how they're so, doing. So marketing. to recap, a good idea is to go to the interest section on your homepage yeah. uh, and add interests and look at what interests are out there. You can filter it. I'm just going to say tech because I, I think anything in tech I might be interested. I'm already f I thought I already followed this tech news. That's another tech news. Okay. So mine is more complete than Vedum's, okay. but uh, that one's a good one, too. Okay. A person Eventually, you learn, I guess. Big tech. Big tech VIPs. Big I tech like that. Companies? Yeah, I don't like big tech companies. I follow it anyways because you're <laughs> a geek. And, uh, Robert's be, secret agenda here is to get me to follow all his lists. 50 people you should wouldn't follow. Wouldn't you if on, you were in the seat? <laughs> yeah. 50 follow people, all my stuff and put 50 me on the 50 people in tech I should list. follow on Facebook. Um. Yeah, you can get lost in that for. By hours. the way, my feed is now full of this. Leo Laporte followed the list news. Leo Laporte yep. followed. The, so and in fact, that, if I go to my close friends list, you're going to see all of that. No, because I don't show all those weird things. You don't like seeing those. Actually, can I turn those off? Yeah, let's go. Uh, let's go back to your close friend list. Okay, close friends. So close friends are showing you all these fun things because people are watching the show yeah. and adding yeah. lists yeah. while we're talking. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So go that back up to the top. So let's say you didn't want to see all these uh, I, I call don't. Them lightweight signals. They're, yeah. they're not heavyweight signals. Yeah. You go to manage list. Okay. Choose update types. Ah. So now on this only affects this list. So you can say, don't show me any games from this list. I don't, no. And don't show me other... Act all the so all that just killed all the Candy Crush Saga posts? Yeah, oh, on the list. Oh, my God. On the list, right? Go to the other... Okay, we've learned something here today. Click click off the other activity, too. That's the little lightweight right, now signals. Now refresh, that, refresh the list, yeah. list and see what happens. Oh, that's nice. So now I'm going to only see good stuff. stuff yeah, yeah, no more. They so that follow makes this. lists a lot more useful. Can I do that? No, on my home. It seems like I should be able to. That would you be a nice place to do that. Because uh, when, you, when you find a Candy Crush thing on your homepage. Just say no more of that. Just say don't show okay. me this and be very explicit about why you But don't. I have eliminated it from close friends. Yeah. So my close friends feed, because I clicked manage list, is going to be much cleaner yeah. Let's do it for than it was. And, uh, yeah, I should do it for I should do it for all of these, frankly. I'll let you do that. I don't have to worry about family because <laughs> they don't actually play. Boring TV, it. it is. Don't here. worry about that. Don't worry about that. And Patrick's still not here, so we're a little delayed on Twit, those of you just turning in. As soon as Patrick arrives, we will begin Twit. Christina Warren is also joining us. You might let her know we're running a little bit late uh, due so, to traffic. So somebody in the chat room said, uh, D uh, Dave, I think, said, I didn't know anybody studied Facebook this much. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, Only Robert. No, I started getting a hint of the, that it's turning contextual, and I started pouring a lot of signal into it and understanding the consequences of... Well, since uh, we've so talked a couple of times about this, I have done a lot more liking. But that isn't enough, it's apparent. You no. really need to kind of make these lists, it seems like. Facebook pays attention to this. Also, lists, uh, when you click through your list, you see everything in real time. So, like, right. during the earthquake, the feed actually was really good. It, it was funny. Uh, I While of that, my house was still shaking. I pick up the phone. I went to Facebook. I said, big earthquake. I went over to Twitter and said, big earthquake. Um, uh, Why did you do both? Because there's different audiences on both, okay. and they're for different things, right? right? Twitter ha still has a better search, uh, real-time search engine, so you can search for earthquake, for instance, and see everybody who said something about the earthquake. Right. Facebook is working on that. They're behind in the search engine, but uh, coming soon. Um, yes, you're getting the hang of this. And um, 
uh, I was one of the first people to tweet. Uh, several people said I was the first earthquake. And then I went immediately back to Facebook. And in the first, so I was back there in the first minute, and the entire feed was earthquake. It, by, you know, I had no earthquakes in my Facebook feed. And part of it is if you say earthquake to the system, it, it knows, says, oh, it knows you're interested. You in want it. to know about, see, that's the problem with Twitter. Twitter gives you everything. Right. It doesn't, in fact, yeah, in fact pay any attention to that. Twitter up on my screen so you can see okay. uh, its problems. But the more signal you give it on posting, the more you'll get back uh, interesting stuff. I, I'm noticing that all the time. In fact, um, Yesterday I was turning talking about Burning Man, and uh, I started seeing ads for or uh, uh, behaviors for a uh, pot farm game. I made fun of it. I I said I just started seeing this stuff. It is contextual. It is studying, so now you're seeing pot farm games everywhere. It's studying your behavior uh, outward, right. and to rejigger the machine learning inward. So, but as we've seen be so many about what you write about, as we yeah well, but as we've seen so like. many times on Netflix and Amazon. Recommendation engines, which are akin to this, are notoriously bad. Uh, even Facebook, which is trying to give me contextual ads, does a pretty poor job of picking which ads yeah. I'm going to see. It's getting better. Um, so, I mean, obviously I'm they're putting a lot event, of effort into this. I'm seeing an event space ad. I'm seeing an Arduino ad right now. I'm seeing lens rentals from uh, lens yeah, that's rentals. that's all right appropriate. Now, now pretty, pretty good ads. On the other hand, people I may know, I don't know any of those people. People you may know where, where you, oh, yeah. I don't know any of those it's people. It's always... Uh, people you may not know. It's always putting uh, in your face, can you please give us more signal? Mark yeah. Zuckerberg really wants to know you at a deep level, right. and that's scary. And a lot of people go, I don't want to tell him. But, it, but it's, it is the case that in many places here you can say, I don't want to see this, I want to see yeah. more of that. He's looking actively for that stuff. Pull out your mobile phone. Let's see what it looked like on your mobile phone. I don't have Facebook on my oh, mobile. Have... I deleted it. Ah, so, I don't want to see Facebook on my mobile. So one thing I would do is put Facebook on your mobile. That way to give it, it some mobile signals? Yeah. yeah. Now, here's one problem I have is that I, I keep getting notifications from Messenger, and I can't seem to turn that off permanently. No, you need to add Messenger, too. Get on Messenger. It'll, it'll, it's a good thing. <laughs> You're a pusher. Give, give Facebook all your data, man. All right. Give it all. All right. See, I, this I, is why you have to decide. Are you going to be all in or are you going to be all out? If you're going to be all well, out. Well, I had fine. decided to be all out, to be honest. So yeah. I'm, I'm giving you a chance to convince me otherwise. The and more data you give it, the better it serves you. And with Messenger, the more, uh, the easier it is to get back to people. I, yeah, but I, I don't want to get, that's my problem. I don't want to get back to people. Yeah, but if your sister writes you and says, when are you coming right. over for dinner? Uh, but that's not, unfortunately, I don't mostly hear from anybody I want to hear from. Well, again, you have strict filtering on, and you better friend people. On, are you saying I shouldn't filter? No, I'm saying you should pick your friends very carefully because they will get through the filter. As as this guy did. Right <laughs> you don't want to see me. So how can no no this guy? So how do I how do I get uh, how do I say I don't want to see this guy anymore? You can mute mute conversation. Just mute conversation. Okay. And for an hour till eight a.m. until I turn it back on. All right. So <laughs> sorry, 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 Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> You're now muted. Um, all right, interesting. He, I did, that was I was an ex making an example, Bruce. Uh, I'll unmute you soon. Um, okay. So where should we go from there? Well, I think we're. I think we've got it. We've got it. I think we're going to get going with Twit here. Yeah. Um, just, but let's recap. So the first thing everybody should do is go and assign. Well, first everybody should decide: Do they see, are you in or are you out? Do they see enough value? If they look at my feed and they see a PR person who worked for Steve Jobs, which Ellen is, or Josh Weinstein, or John Engates, who's my CTO, uh, an ad from Virgin America, another thing from Ellen. Oh, there's uh, something funny. Uh, Robert Reich, an economist, a politician, Chris Saad. So you're saying to you, CEO. this is a, a good feed. This is starting to be, there's yeah. some noise here. There's some cat photos here. Right. But it's uh, Asa Dossler, who works for Mozilla Foundation, just lost his cat. Right. So that's different. That's yeah. different. I, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to know what Asa had to with say him tomorrow, I might yeah. want to mention that. Yeah. You know, Blake Ross. So Michael first decide Apple, if you right. even want to do this. Yeah. Presuming that you do, and I think you can see here that if you put some effort into it, as Robert has, there... You can certainly make this more valuable. And I have to say, no social network is going to be without noise. It's I mean, just impossible. It, if you look at my tech news feed alone, I have CNET, Business Insider, TechCrunch, Hacker News, right. Technology. And I think Twit's on there, too. But see, I can do that with Flipboard. I can do that with you Nuzzle. Can, I can do that with 
you can do it so with a many number choices. of tools, but the engagement on Facebook is better. The way, the reason I really started going down this Facebook thing is I started talking to people who have these big accounts. I talked to Red Bull, and they said that, that they get 10 times more traffic than all other places <laughs> way, combined. It didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> He's back. He's back. That's what's funny about Facebook. Thank, thank, that's what's funny about Facebook. I don't laugh. It still doesn't work, right? Doesn't they work. all suck. I can tell you 15 ways no, to no, no. sucks. I can yeah, tell yeah. you 50 ways to so, um So first decide. Second, the first thing you should do is go to your home and look at your uh, yeah, friends. Your friends. And Actually, go to your list. page and then click the friends button. Put them all on list. And categorize them all. And they're really... The two big categories are close friends and acquaintances. And family. Three. And family. There's, there's three. So you can add them to another list, but should everybody be part of one of those three? Uh, everybody. Everybody should be either a close friend, acquaintance, yeah. or family. And don't assume that that means what it says it means. It merely means how much engagement you want. Yeah. The most with family, the next most with close friends, the, the least with acquaintances. Go and click back on home again. Okay. When you click on your family list. Yeah. So... You'll see, first of all, you see a picture from your family, right? Yeah, I closed Bruce there. <laughs> uh, you also see, <clears throat> by the way, uh, fix the same thing. Go to manage list. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can fix that uh, everywhere uh, here. Choose, choose update, update types. types. No other, games. And other activity. No other activity. Thank yeah. you. The rest I want to see. And refresh it. Okay. So that's going to clean out the silly things. Yeah. Uh, like Deb uh, likes Cheerios. I won't see that anymore. She's seeing liking pages there. <laughs> all right, scroll can, down a can little Can I bit. get rid of that? Yeah, maybe. Choose update types, uh, comments, comments and but I want comments. Got to choose. I, I they they shouldn't mer they shouldn't mush those two together. They're very different. Yeah. Comments and likes are two different things. Anyway, all right. I agree I with you, it. but you know nothing's you perfect. Get, nothing's perfect. So, so, anyway, so uh, add, make sure everybody's in one of those three categories: so family, you, close acquaintance, close yeah. friends, or acquaintances. Yeah. The next thing you should do is go to interests and add some. Um, there, or get somebody like Robert. Now, is there a way I can go to your page and find your list? No, you can go to the add interest page and type Scoble. And just Scoble. search for Scoble. All right. I think that works. Or we, type tech, you know, if you're into tech. But if you search for, oh, that's about Scoble. Yeah. So these are lists about uh, you. Yeah. So tech. Uh, most of my lists are tech. Tech will find. And if you click Robert Scoble, don't know, but see, that'll take you to your page. I won't take you to lists. So you're going to just have to search for lists by topic or list name. Uh, and, and there's a lot of them. And there's, add a few. Uh, Although, as you point out, you can't always Oculus. tell if a list is great, but the the best no, way to do can... it is to go click the list and take a look at it and say, hmm. And you can even get more granular. You could add parts of this list yep. if you wish. Yeah, so like you just saw Michael Arrington there. Right. Uh, if you don't know who Michael Arrington is, you can click on him and you can say, can I be a friend of him? Can I follow him? Right. Uh, and that'll improve your feed uh, also. But I did the hard work. Uh, in the tech industries now other people are doing hard work in uh, other industries like right. plumbing or whatever uh, education uh, you gotta find though as always with social media you wanna find curators who are doing uh, the hard work and by the so way I have the exact same simple. list on Google Plus and the exact same list right. on Twitter so I'm watching all I've always followed your your, your uh, tech list on Twitter because actually. I, that way I can see who's putting signal into right. Twitter and not into Facebook who's putting it into Facebook and not Twitter and I can watch trends over time and with a big news story like the Apple event coming up, I can see how everybody is treating the Apple event. You know, I can right. see how the investors are reacting to it. Versus well, this the is a channels. good example. So September 9th, we will be following all the tech blogs. We'll be watching a live stream. I hope people will be watching our live broadcast. I never thought of following Facebook. You think that would be a useful thing to follow? Yeah. And what would you follow? Your tech news or your tech yeah, people? Yeah, tech news list will be lit up like a okay. uh, Christmas tree that, that morning. All right. right. That's useful. And every mostly it'll be like, come and watch my, our live blog, right? Like Twit will say, uh, come and watch our live blog right. on twit, live .twit .tv, right? right? And then uh, you can just click right. there and, and watch it. Well, I'm going to give it a chance and see what happens. And uh, folks, I hope you got some value out of this. Some some very concrete things you can do. And, of course, actually, I left out the most important one. Yeah. The first thing you should do is go to settings, particularly privacy and security, and make sure you've got those set up properly. Well, one guy asked me, uh, why is Facebook better than Twitter for me? Once you've done this and you've given it the, all the signal you can and you've made it better and you've removed people who don't who only bring you cat foot, metaphorical right. cat photos right. and clean it up, it brings you stuff that's just amazing and it brings you the best stuff.
It doesn't bring it like look at my Twitter right now. It, it's just streaming down. And it's a lot of noise. Right. Facebook, when I look at it on my mobile phone, uh, is amazing. Twitter is also cryptic. It, it's not easy always to understand what a particular tweet is about yeah, because there's, there's so little well, there's space. there's like a MT, right? Right. My, there's all sorts of crypt, cryptic tweet, stuff. You know, right. and there's retweet and art, right. you know. Yeah. This is with a little more space. And Google Plus, too. With a little more space, you can get a lot more out of it. Yeah. Thank you, Robert. I appreciate you coming all this way. I'm yeah. sorry you hit bad traffic, but I think we got a... Now a lot of useful information. While I listen to Twit. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see you. Robert Thanks. Scoble, the Scobleizer. We do triangulation normally Mondays, 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, that would be 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and uh, if you can join us, we would love it if you watch live. We appreciate all the questions and comments we get from the chat room. But don't worry, on-demand audio and video always available later at twit.tv slash TRI. We also put it on YouTube, and you can subscribe. We have lots of apps that make it easy. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Triangulation.